I tried Vibe Coding with Gemini 2.5 and I'm gonna show you both the good and the bad. If you've been hearing this Vibe Coding term lately but haven't really gotten into it, not sure what it does or how to use it, that's exactly what I'll be breaking down in this video. I'm Alan, I've been coding for over three years, now let's dive right in. Vibe Coding is a trend that's been picking up over the past few months, this coding with the vibes idea, and what it basically means is using AI not just to assist with your code but to write the entire thing for you. So you don't even have to write a single line. If something goes wrong, you just prompt the AI to fix it over and over until the error disappears. Am I a big fan of this? Not really, but the fact that this even became a trend shows how far AI tools have come and why it's smart to learn how to use them properly. We're going to keep this video practical, I'll try to vibe code a couple of different apps, see how far Gemini can go and give you my honest recommendations on, on how you should use it. I'm using the Gemini 2.5 Flash version here, that's the free one. I've also upgraded to the paid version, but we'll stick with the free one in this video so you can follow along right away. So the first app that we're gonna create will be an application that actually most of us have created at some point or that we have to create, but we usually postpone. This is actually the kind of typical app type that I would use Vibe Coding for, which is a portfolio website showing your work as a developer. And let me just use the microphone option here to prompt Gemini. Hey Gemini, can you create a landing page for me for a portfolio website for a .NET web developer? Make sure to include the most important sections this kind of website should have and also try to make it as visually appealing as you can. Try coding this only using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Okay, this should be fine. Usually the more context you give AI, the more accurate it will be. And what I love a lot about Gemini is that you actually have not only the code here, but also you can preview the code here in this with this option here after this is done. ChatGPT doesn't have this. I know Claude actually has it as well. And yeah, this takes a while. Okay, we have the app description here, what the sections contain. As I said, this is the preview version. We see the first hero section as this is called an about me section with an option to upload our photo, a skills section, my portfolio section, and a get in touch section for people to contact us. So this seems good on the eye. Actually, it could be better visually if I'm being honest, if this is the best that Gemini can do, but this seems to be functional. Actually, let me check the code. So we have an HTML page, a style tag here with some sections. And we have a script tag here for the JavaScript. So 355 lines of code is not a lot. Usually when you get code from AI, a lot of it is just fluff or unnecessary. If you actually go and debug it, I'd bet that in most cases there is code that you could remove. But for these kinds of applications for front-end design or like a portfolio website, as in this case, this is actually a use case I would use Vibe Coding for. And still, if you were to start coding this from scratch, I'm maybe just talking for myself, but this would take you a lot of time. And if you just get some boilerplate code from AI in this case, I'd find this helpful actually. Now let's try and create a more complex application. If you want real help, not from robots, whether you're just starting web development or already on your journey, you can get direct support and guidance for .NET web development inside the .NET Squad community. And the best part, you can start for free. Not only will you have a place to go whenever you're stuck or something isn't working in your code, you'll get monthly content on topics you vote for, maybe topics that are hard to find online or that you simply find difficult to understand. Plus, you'll connect with like-minded people to make learning easier. As I said, you can try it for free. It's basically a week of free training. The link is in the description. Usually games, even simple ones, are a bit difficult to create because you have to think of the logic and it actually takes time time to put it into code. So I'm going to try and see what kind of game Gemini can generate here for us. So hi Gemini, can you create a game for me, a fun, cool game that I can also play here and see the preview here on the browser? Try doing it with JavaScript. Let's see the response in this case. Okay, we see it's styling the CSS. We see this loading. It seems to be a catch the stars game. Okay, so we have the game instructions here. This is the preview of our game. Let's just try and start the game here. Okay, we can play with the arrow keys. I 
know if how I can lose the game. I think I okay, so we have lives here on the right. I actually lost all of them, and this was my final score. So this was an actually pretty good game. So visually, also it seemed that it worked. Let me check the code. So this is an HTML file. We have some style tags here, and then body. And the most part should be JavaScript. Let me see how many lines of codes there are. Pretty much about 400 lines of code, but the game was functional. It would take you a long time to code something like this. Maybe nowadays we are used to these kinds of things, but a few years back, it would be insane to think that the machine could generate any game you would like and generate the code for you this fast. All in all, in my opinion, the best use cases of Gemini and other AI software, in this case for coding, wouldn't be to vibe code. My recommendation would be to use these tools to add functionality to your projects, to handle the UI maybe, to refactor your code, to debug code, of course, to catch errors. And I would really recommend to ask Gemini to explain you the code or the changes so you actually understand what you are doing and so that you learn along the way. We don't know how the future will be. These tools are advancing so fast that we don't really know how this vibe coding thing will go. Personally, I don't see vibe coding job postings yet, but it's actually impossible to predict at this point. If you found this video helpful, YouTube thinks you'll love the one on the screen. So click on it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.